A block of mass 10 kg is kept on a rough inclined plane as shown in the figure. A force of 3 Newton is applied on the block. The coefficient of static friction between the plane and the block is 0 0.6. The minimum value of force F such that the block does not move downward is. Given mass of the block 10 kg and coefficient of friction 0 0.6. When a block is placed on inclined plane, weight of this block is resolved into two rectangular components. Here angle is theta, then here also angle same 45 degrees. Along this direction component is mg cos theta and along the inclined plane in downward direction mg sin theta. And also 3 newtons of force is applied on the block in downward direction due to these two forces mg sin theta and 3 newton. This block is moving in downward direction. When this block is moving in downward direction, frictional force acting in upward direction. In this question we have to find out the minimum value of force such that the block does not move in downward direction. So to get the equilibrium position of the block, we applied a minimum force in upward direction. So we have to find out the value of this minimum force. Frictional force formula coefficient of friction into normal force. Here normal force N is equals to mg cos theta. Coefficient of friction 0 0.6 and in place of normal force take mg cos theta. 0 0.6 into mass 10, acceleration due to gravity 10 and cos 45 degrees 1 by root 2. 60 by root 2 is equals to 30 root 2. Sum of the downward forces 3 Newton plus mg sin theta is equals to sum of the upward forces frictional force plus minimum applied force. Then F minimum is equals to 3 plus in place of mg sin theta 10 into 10 into sin 45 1 by root 2 minus frictional force. So minus 30 root 2. 3 plus 100 by root 2 50 root 2 minus 30 root 2. 3 plus 50 root 2 minus 30 root 2, 20 root 2. Root 2 value 1.414 into 20 plus 3. 14.14 into 2 plus 3 newtons. Twenty eight point two eight plus three thirty one point two eight newtons. The minimum force required to get the equilibrium position of the block is thirty one point two eight newtons. Check the given options. So thirty one point two eight newtons is approximately equal to thirty two newtons. First option is correct.